footytips.com.au TV. Welcome to footytips.com.au TV. My name's Francis Leach. I'm here with Beverly O'Connor to have a look at round 21 of AFL action. The pointy end of the tipping competitions, Bev. Absolutely. And the tipping's tight. The competition, I don't think, has ever been so tight. And not for a very long time. I think you're right. Let's go straight to the first game of the weekend. Telstra Dome, Saints and Eagles. What a week these two clubs have had. Absolutely. If it isn't suspension, Stephen Baker out for seven weeks. It's injuries. Injuries all over the place. Daniel Kerr out now for the season. And that's going to be a big loss for the Weagles. Judd and Cousins have travelled with the team, but will they play? They might be forced to play one of them, if not both, given the injury concern with Kerr. But I think the Saints are OK here. Even though they'll miss Baker, they're playing OK. They beat the Eagles in Perth a couple of months back. And they just seem to have found the sort of uh, attitude and approach to the game that might see them play footy in September. You could be right. Fraser Gehrig to me is the key. Kicked eight last week. Can he do it again? Can he fire up? And I think that'll that'll be the difference. But the Saints for me. Another big game on the weekend. Collingwood and Sydney. Let's go to that one before we talk about the others because this is all about top four positions and a very tough game. MCG Saturday night. The Swans. They really had that game sewn up at the Gabba last weekend and they uncharacteristically let it slip. Absolutely. But they have big ones. The Swans. And I, I still think I look. I like the Swans. Collingwood playing for a hell of a lot. Uh, we've got Fraser coming back. The Courier. Buckley coming back. They, they've said, look, he's not going to make all that much of a difference. But I think it could give them an emotional lift. It's going to be very, very tight. I just don't know, maybe the pies. Collingwood have had a reasonable record against the Swans in recent times. And I think uh, Sydney without Canelli are not as quick, not as hard out of the and back Hall's half. And just not looking up to it, is he? It'll be tight, but I'm picking the pies as well. The Kangaroos take on the Blues at the Telstra Dome on Saturday afternoon. Carlton aren't really interested in winning too many games of football at the moment, <laughs> are they? Especially now they've said Brett Radden will be their coach. No more pressure on him anymore. Fev's out. I think he's happy he's out so that he doesn't have to be part of the losses. They won't win. That's your Monty for the weekend. Maybe <laughs> this one is as well. Fremantle and Melbourne, sorry to say it, Bev, but the injuries the Demons suffered in that game against Collingwood last week is probably just about done and dusted for the season. Well, Nita's 300th was spoiled as one after the other they limped off. It's been a pretty sorry sight and I think it's pretty much done the season for us. We'll swing to Amy Stadium on Saturday night and this is another game that could determine finals aspirations. The Adelaide Crows and the Brisbane Lions. The Brisbane Lions, I saw that game at the Gabba last weekend. They were in a hole and Jonathan Brown dug them out of it. They are a chance against the Crows. It's in Adelaide though. That's the problem and I think going over there, I do think also a massive game for them last last week and that's really hard to come back from and then travel. They are they're looking terrific and a lot of people would, would will have them in their eight but uh, their draw last week won't have helped them at all. I'm going to pick Brisbane. This is my upset for the round. I think they can do it. I just think that they are flying with confidence at the moment. It'll be a great game. Uh, on Sunday we get Western Bulldogs and Hawthorne. I think the dog season, the air's gone out of that as well. Absolutely. The Hawks have got up for a couple of big ones though and to lose just on that siren but against Port Adelaide. Oh, look but I think the Hawks are just too classy in every department. The Hawks for me as well. I think the dogs are just hoping for an end of season trip at this stage. <laughs> then we head to uh, Skilled Stadium. The Cats and Port Adelaide the top two teams in the competition. Geelong so far ahead of everyone else, it isn't funny. But can Port Adelaide just throw a bit of a spanner in the works and stop the 15-game unbeaten streak? Look, they could. They, if anyone can, they're looking the goods. They've got some great run. That I just think this will be the match that tells us how good the Cats are, and I still think they are way out there in terms of the rest of the competition. So I think the Cats will just get another one, and it's, another notch on it's their It's hard to second-guess a 15-game running streak, so I think I'll go with you on that one. And then a really emotional day at the MCG. It's a twilight game. It'll be Essendon versus Richmond. Kevin Sheedy, depending on how the Bombers go, if they make the finals, he might get another Melbourne hurrah. But against his old team, with a club he's leaving behind after 27 years, the Dons playing for a spot in the eight. Yeah, Sheedy's last potentially herds, well, not his last, but the last in front of a home crowd. But remember the last Richmond game? Richo denied it with that push in the back decision. Who knows, they may want to atone and Richmond have been looking not too bad. So I think this is gonna be a tough battle. I'm gonna take the Tigers. Yeah, me too. I think I'm gonna go with the Tigers. I shouldn't because I think Essendon will give their uh, life and limb in this match. But I just think that Richmond, they were not too bad against West Coast last week. and. They'll love the scent of an opportunity to upset the party. And I do think they've got some good people that have been running into form. So let's go. Let's go the Tigers. Let's go the Tigers. Let's go the upset. If you're a couple of points down in your tipping competition, you've got to take a few risks. Oh, that or Brisbane. Go. <laughs> Or wear a stupid hat. Well, it's not a stupid hat. It's a funky no, I think hat. it's a funky hat this weekend. And I want another one next week. I might even bring my own. Okay, it's hats all around next week. <laughs> Here on footytips.com.au TV. We'll catch you for all of the action for round 22. Good luck with your competition this week. Bye now. Footytips.com.au TV.